Hi everybody. So I'm back with another video and we are going to talk today about the prepping and emergency pan, whatever you want to call it. I have to be honest guys, I don't like any of these names. My name for this would just be pantry, right? Um, but I do believe that you need to have some food for emergencies. And I think I'm going to do a whole nother video about how to like kind of the step down from the most severe to the least severe emergencies and what you should be prepping for those and how to work on that. So maybe tomorrow. But today I wanted to talk about how do we prepare an emergency pantry or put food aside for emergencies when we're on a really tight budget. So I want to talk about clearance, store sales, coupons, and rebates. So we're going to go over a couple of things that I got very cheap over the last, um, well, I got them Wednesday, so it's been a couple of days. So let's start right at the beginning because <clears throat> I want to talk about this one thing. Okay. This is the Success Boil-In Bag. It is uh, 21 ounces, but it's six individual bags. Okay. You guys have seen I already have a lot of rice. The reason I bought this was because if you have pets or small children, or actually even for yourself, if you're getting sick and you need rice, this is a parboiled rice. It cooks very quickly and it will, um, you're going to want to use it if you get sick, if a family member gets sick, or if you have a pet that gets sick, you want to mix this with their, either chicken or ground beef for them if they get sick. Um, this was on sale at my shop, right? I did not have a coupon for it for $2.49, which was the same price as the smaller box that only had four bags. So I grabbed this. Also on sale, because I really like rice and it's a great thing to stockpile, was this. Okay, so this is the ShopRite brand, but it's kind of the more expensive brand in my local supermarket. This is a two pound bag of Bob's Mahdi rice, and it was on clearance for $1.49. So 50 cents for rice. As I talked about in the other video where I had the two pound bag of rice, that was um, 50 cents a pound. This is 75 cents a pound, still a very good deal. And this is, if you look at it, this is Mylar and vacuum sealed. So until I open this, this will never go bad. The next thing. So <clears throat> this Hunt's Ketchup, which this is the 32 ounce. This is the big, oh, I'm sorry, it's 72 ounce. So it's like two and a half pounds of ketchup. I don't know why, but this was on clearance for $1.49. Now, any of you who have kids know that this is a lot of ketchup. I've had Hunt's ketchup before. I honestly cannot tell the difference between Heinz or Hunt's ketchup. But for $1.49, I thought this was a really excellent deal. And as it states on the label, it's not made with high fructose corn syrup. It's made with sugar. Even though I do watch my sugar, I still like sugar, actual sugar, better than high fructose corn syrup. So here's another thing that I talked about. Um, this was just on sale this week. This was $2.49. Um, no, I'm sorry. This wasn't $2.49. This was $2.19, which is still, like, in my opinion, a little high for this amount. This is only 26 ounces, which is a weird amount. It's not quite, you know, 24, which we, I don't know. I don't know why it's 26 ounces, but it is. But I, sp I spoke in the comments that canola oil actually has a very long shelf life. So it's a good oil to put away. It's not my favorite oil. My favorite oil is olive oil, but canola oil for food storage purposes is a good thing to put away. Um, and this, I didn't have any real deals on it. It was just on sale. So now this was a deal. Okay. Fleischmann's active dry yeast. Some of you may still be having trouble getting yeast. I had it, this was on sale for $1.99, which is still not a great sale for all three of them, but I had a 75 cent coupon and it doubled to a dollar. So it made it 99 cents for these th the three pack, which means it's 33 cents a pack for, for yeast, which is a good deal. Okay, next. I found these on a shelf and they were on clearance for $1.99 each. Again, not a great deal, but these are vegetarian. This is vegetarian chili. And since I'm kind of a pseudo vegetarian, I like to have some vegetarian options in my stockpile. So I grab those. I always look for things like this. This is the kind where you just really pop the lid. You could technically eat this cold. Um, it probably wouldn't taste as great as it did hot, but in an emergency, you could eat it cold. I'm going to talk about foods like that in my next video. Okay, so we've used some coupons. Now we're going to talk about 
we've, we've used some coupons, we've had some clearance. Now we're gonna talk about using rebate apps. All right, so this was on sale at my supermarket. This is the peanut butter I talked about in the comments, if any of you read the comments. Love this peanut butter. Let's show you the seal. They support disabled people. Most likely this probably is people with developmental delay. And let me see if I can find the ingredients. I don't know if you can see that. All of the peanuts are grown in the USA and they're processed in the USA. And the ingredients are roasted peanuts, salt. That's it, there's nothing else in it. So this is a good quality peanut butter. So this was on sale for $2.99. Not a horrible deal for peanut butter, but not the best. The store brand was actually cheaper. But there was a 10 cent re rebate on Ibotta which I will put my link to Ibotta because if you join, I get points, you get points. It's it's just happy all around. Uh, there was a 10 cent rebate on Ibotta. So it actually made this 289. So a little bit of savings. Like I said, not great savings, but not bad, it's something. All right, so this Cola Vita is actually on sale this week at ShopRite for 88 cents. But while I was kind of perusing it, I noticed that two kinds, this, and the stars pasta that you use like in chicken and stars soup, which I'm actually making right now, was 69 cents on clearance. I don't know why it's these two kinds, but this is these are min, this is miniature penne. This is a smaller penne, and this like like I said, the stars, which is what I put in soup. And then in the same aisle, this product, which was not on sale, had these on clearance. And again, it was only two kinds. It was this which is the ZD and angel hair, and they were 77 cents a bag. And if you remember in my in one of my other videos, I talked about making sure that these are one pound bags. So this is a one pound bag. The other was a one pound bag. And this one is, I don't think this was one pound. No, this was one pound. Okay, this is one pound, but I did notice that the stars, the stars pasta was only 12 ounces, but, that's kind of expected. It's actually a smaller bag. You don't need that many. Um, a one pound bag of stars would probably last you for, I don't know, ever, unless you eat a lot of chicken and stars soup. So to get back to what I was saying, if you're having trouble figuring out where you're going to like find this money to start a little storage slash emergency pantry, my advice to you would be try and do $5 per person per week and just find five items that have a long shelf life that are either on clearance, cheap with a coupon, um, just generally on sale, or are less than a dollar to begin with. So some of the other things I saw that I'll give an honorable mention to were the tuna packets, five, they were actually five for five dollars. There you go, that's a good one right there. And I also saw these chicken salad packets that were also on clearance. They were five for five dollars. And I thought that's that's kind of an interesting thing too, because that's another thing you could eat right out of the packet. You don't have to worry about having mayonnaise because it might go bad. Um, all those crackers we talked about last week, that's kind of a perfect thing. You, you open up the pouch and you just use the cracker as almost a utensil. It's really great in an emergency situation because there's no water, no refrigeration, and until you open the crackers, until you open the pack, and it, they're both shelf stable. So that's what I would that's what I would advise people to do. If you're worried about where you're going to find the money to start an emergency storage pantry, think about just buying five things a week. If it's just you, just spend five bucks a week on stuff that has a really long shelf life, and just put it on a shelf in your home, your apartment, whatever. Um, if you have kids, think think in the same way. Think five dollars for each kid. $5 for you and your spouse. And that way it won't blow your, blow your budget. You know, a family of four, it's going to be 20 bucks a week that you're going to put towards storage. That's not cheap, but it's also not horrible. And there may be some things that you can find like this pasta. I could have really gotten more than five of these. I could have probably gotten at 69 cents a piece. I could have gotten, so these would have been 70. Um, yeah, I could have gotten multiples of these, like seven of these, and it would still be just around $5. So think outside the box a little bit. But until the next video, which will probably be tomorrow, I'll see you guys uh, next time.